All right. Hello, good sir. What's the haps? This is the village of Cole. Or Call. I don't know. Don't ask me. Hey, get a load of this. The, poor, the husband of poor Cleo over there skipped town to buy some magic keys. That good for nothing man left behind his lovely wife. I mean, really? That's all right. I, I didn't want to be a burden on his dreams. That's literally something. We, we eventually find that guy. He's every bit of scumbag as it sounds. I mean, my goodness, what the hell, man? Why would you... He's like, I need some magic keys. I gotta break into people's houses. No time for a wife. This shop doesn't have the legendary sword either. After all I went through. Hey, y'all can't have that legendary sword. That's something I'm looking for. I mean, what are you selling in the ways of weaponry? Let's see, copper sword. Hand axe. Yep, still definitely want those. And we also got the uh, half plate and full plate armor. My goodness gracious, that certainly would be useful to have. I guess I'll just settle for the leather shield for now. I'm gonna need a whole bunch more money if I'm gonna be able to get any of that cool stuff. All right, and no, I'm pretty much good. Thank you, sir. Although, let's see. Okay, let's see if we can perhaps... Now, I'm sure there are NPCs somewhere out there that'll tell you about this, but for the life of me, I certainly haven't ever been able to find them. And there's something around here, around this general area, where we might... Aha! There it is! A fairy flute! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that's something that's gonna come in extraordinary handy later. All right, that's that's something we need in order to beat the game. And you could just sort of find it lying in the ground over here, next to an oh, what is this like an open air bath? Would I like a puff puff? What kind of man do you take me for, woman? Anyway, that's a a puff puff is a weird running gag in the Dragon Quest universe. It's implied to be sexual but every time it happens it's something entirely else it's 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 weird different games seem to portray it entirely differently i don't know what the deal with that is see this guy's dreaming about them puff puffs see so i mean like i guess i gotta i got i've never actually done this in the first game all right you know what sure fine whatever do it go and off she goes she's puff puff puffing the puffing never ceases it always fades to black when the puff puffs take place it's all left to your interpretation um that's it thank you very much well then please come again did that provide you with any benefits no sir no sir it did not it never does <laughs> it never does all right well, let's see to the best of my knowledge i mean that's that's like the chief reason to come to this place, is basically the fairy flute. However, there's obviously other stuff running around here too. There's a there's a wizardly old man over there. We're gonna have to talk to him eventually. Alright, well you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go, go to the inn. Twelve coins! The first place only wanted three! Friggin' inflation. Or whatever. I don't know. I don't know nothing about that fancy stuff. Yeah, there we go. It's an open-air bath. What is an open-air bath? I'm just standing around naked? Anyway, what's up? Brave parcel! Descendant of Erdrick, you can't defeat the Dragon Lord with that weapon! There should be a sword that Erdrick left behind somewhere in this land. Seek it out! Ow, ow, ow! Okay, that weird purple ground, it hurts you. It hurts you real bad whenever you walk on it. But there are several times in the game where you are forced to walk upon the evil purple ground that hurts you so badly. Why an old man was hanging out on the other side of that thing, I have no flippin' clue. And all that existed was just to tell us, hey, there's a sword out there, you should probably go and find it. My goodness, no flippin' duh. Of course there's a legendary sword out there, once owned by Erdrick himself. That's pretty much the only thing that you could possibly, like, beat the Dragon Lord with. Either way, this place is actually a much more efficient location for monies and experience, so... I believe I shall hang out if around this place eth for a little bit. Get mad strong, yo. Let's go. Go okay, we've got a scorpion! We got a big ol' hawkin' scorpion here with his big ol' scorpion face. Okay. Ow. Alright, yes. I forgot. Until you get really mad strong, these guys actually are pretty uh good at not dying. So let's throw a few fireballs. There we go, that does significantly more damage. Melee, 1. Fireball, 17. 
that's that that's a that's a definite step in the right direction. Eventually, you get strong enough to where you can just start hacking away at the scorpions, and you don't have a single problem. But uh, it's gonna be a little while before we get to that point. Until then, I'm just gonna have to keep beating up bats, weird purple ones. Get out of here with that. Ta ta ta! Level six. Making progress, making progress. Strength by four, HP by four, MP by four. Found 16 gold. All right, well, I'm stronger, but there is a certain useful magical spell that I can learn by getting just a teensy tiny bit little bit stronger that I would really like. It'll save me a lot of time, effort, and headaches down the line. I'm pretty sure it's the next thing I learn anyway, so it all works out well in the end. Update, I have purchased myself a hand axe. Goodbye, loyal club. You have served me well, but now I gotta cut at some fools. Anyway, yeah, guess I'm gonna go back and... Actually, I'm gonna sell my, my club, and then I'm gonna go back and get more experience and the like. Just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that I now had a, a hand axe. For the choppings. Alright, level 7, level 7. That's good, that's good. Do I get the thing that I wanted? Increase five, strength by 5 and speed by 7 and vitality by 3. Okay, well... That's not specifically what I was looking for, but those will be really handy. Thank you, stat increases. HP by one? Not as useful. Learn sleep. Apparently I was mistaken. The spell that I really want is, in fact, a fair bit further away. Very well, then. We will simply have to make do with what we have for now. Level seven. Let's see. Do you guys sell items anywhere up in this place? Because it's, uh, it's kind of looking like you don't. And that's gonna be a major inconvenience for me, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you guys. Alright, then fine. Let's just do a little, uh, exploratorying. Looking around. I think there's something over in this general area. Oh, hey, and the enemies have become weaker again. Good, but that is A-OK-O -okay by me. Granted, I'm not getting much from beating them, but still. Alright, ah! Random encounters! Ah. An unfortunate necessity of the time. We've since moved on from them. Even in current turn-based RPGs, generally you'll see them, like, hanging around outside on the map and you, like, bump into them to fight them. Much better, being perfectly honest. And you? Hello, good sir. What to be happening? So your parcel. I heard that you're journeying to defeat the Dragon Lord. However, the Dragon Lord is a mal ma malevolent creature. Mm. And for that reason, I would regret letting you go, knowing you could witness defeat. Parcel, I want to test your strength. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Oh, somewhere in this land is the Silver Harp, which can attract monsters. When you retrieve it and bring back that item, I will recognize you as a true hero and reward you with the Staff of Rain. Okay, so in order to get a Staff of Rain, I need to go find a Silver Harp. Very well. Kind of esoteric, if I'm being entirely honest, but hey, it's a quest. And quests have never been known for their entire, you know, coherency. At least we've got people out there in the world that are willing to help us, they just don't want to see us die in the process. I can appreciate that. Alright, well, as luck would have it, and the haves would luck it, uh, there- I- ugh, I know exactly where to find a silver harp. However, we can't get to it without any magic keys, so we gotta find ourselves some magic keys in order to get anywhere. I know where magic keys can be found, but before I even think about doing that noise, there is an entirely separate area that I would prefer we get out of the way, just because it's something I like to just do, because it's something to do, and it's something that I don't think we actually have to do, but I don't know, it's good experience and good money, and it's just a, in general a pretty decent idea. If I recall, the item we get from it, it actually isn't necessary. Unless it is, and I just never understood the relevancy of it. Maybe I, like, got it ahead of time or something? I'm not entirely sure. Either way, we're gonna go and do that. And y'all can't stop me! Alright, so we can either A, go the long way around, or B, go through the poisonous bog as a very brief shortcut. The answer is obvious. There we go, how close to death am I? 21? That's not too bad. The enemies around here ain't that strong! So I should be able to get back to town before any serious problems go around. Unless the red slimes decide to take initiative, my goodness. Or I could just smack that slime with a hand axe so hard it gets cleaved into like 15 separate pieces. How you do that with one blow of an axe, I haven't the slightest, but hey, 
Parcel found a way, good sir. He found a way. And the ghost protects itself, probably by wearing a hard hat underneath their floppy wizard hat. Or witch hat. Whichever it identifies as, I don't judge. Be who you be, Mr. or Mrs. Man Ghost. Do you even have a gender? I don't know! <laughs> You'd have to talk to the monsters. And unfortunately, most monsters aren't really versed in the English language. Or I suppose whatever... Whatever language equivalent there is in this universe. I mean, eventually this game gets voice acting and everyone has British accents, so... I don't know, make of that what you will. Alright. I didn't want to go all the way over to this town and buy this particular item, but we need it if we're going to actually be doing anything. Alright, so yes, I would in fact like to buy something. If you'd be so kind, I'd like to buy literally two torches. Just two. Hopefully that'll be all the ones that we'll ever need. But until then, we're going to have to fork over the money for it. Nextly, we're going to get a good night's rest so that we are, you know... You know, not uh, going in there mostly unprepared. With low HP and very minimal magic skills. Magic, or MP, whatever. Point is, we need to be able to throw some fireballs all over the dang place if we're going to be able to get through where I want to go. Best case scenario, we get through there without any problem. Worst case scenario, it takes me a while, but I ultimately become significantly stronger and get a lot more money in the process. And I think I might have gone the wrong way. In fact, I am like 95% sure I'm about to walk into a dead end. But I've never been one to... Yep, alright. I wasn't gonna just leave that open to interpretation. No, sir. I was gonna go and check for myself. Alright. Apparently I gotta go all the way around. Okay, suddenly I'm confused. I, th I thought I had a much better mental map of the map. Uh, apparently not. Aren't I just the worst? Alright, there we go. I got to go over over this giant hump. There we go. Then we do an old spin And there we go. There's the bridge I'm looking for. Get out of the way, ghost man. Ghost, ghost. Uh, you know, I'm just going to call you a ghostling. Mm. I think that's the best thing to call you. Not that it really matters. We're probably never going to see you again. Either way. Oh, never mind. Speak of the metaphorical devil. Ghost came back looking for revenge. I ain't going to get none, unfortunately. So, you know, sucks to be you. <laughs> I've become far too powerful for your simple abilities. And this magician? Nay, this magician is not nothing anymore. There we go. See, I like I like it when I can defeat the enemies without getting hurt too bad. This is this is something I very much appreciate. And then another magician comes out of the friggin' What are so many magicians doing in the friggin' woods? Next to a poisonous bog. That just seems like a really odd thing for a magi for a, a I can only assume a troop? Is that what you call a gathering of magicians? A troop? I mean, that's what you would call a circus. You could find a magician in a circus. In fact, I think that might be where they originated. I honestly can't say I know. Either way, we're in a cave. And it's time to do some exploring. All right, we're gonna find ourselves some loot. As I'm relatively certain, that's literally all you can actually get from this place. Of course, it is a bit of a maze and there's all manner of beasts up in here trying to mess up your life. And you really have limited visibility. Significantly more than you did in the original version of this game, but still. You best get used to uh, tight corridors and minimal visibility. Because it's really all you're ever going to be getting. Okay, more monsters. Who wants to fight? Oh, it's another scorpion. It's a scorpion, is it? I burned a scorpion. There we go. Take that. The irony of killing a scorpion with fire. And here, I thought you would be more, uh, used to that sort of thing. It's the Mortal Kombat joke. <clears throat> I, and upon retrospect, I realized that perhaps that was not immediately obvious. It's just whenever I hear Scorpion, I mean, I think of, I think of Scorpion <laughs> from Mortal Kombat. It's just what I do. I don't even think of the bug anymore. I think of the frickin' ninja. Okay, yeah, that's the way back. We've gone in a whole big old stinking circle. That's okay. Oh boy, we've got a Durvin. Okay, please say I'm strong enough to whack a Durvin to death. Okay, come on. What's that? Come on, come on. What are you gonna do? All right, I am strong enough. Boy. Going to that other town with the fairy flute was probably a good idea. It gave me a little bit of a of a boost. 
Usually this is the first place I come to and the monsters are significantly stronger than I uh, am actually prepared for. So I think I did things in a, in a much better order this way. Although I guess I did kind of sequence break by grabbing that flute. Again, I'm 900% positive that there's an NPC somewhere out there that says, Yo, go get that flute, bro. You can find it in this general area. But literally, I thought I've, I think I've talked to every NPC in this game, and I don't remember ever hearing anybody say that. So I figure might as well just get it out of the way now. I mean, it's not like it's difficult to get. I mean, you'd have to just know to look around that area. All right. My goodness gracious, there sure are a lot of dead ends in this place. What I wouldn't give for a flippin' pickaxe! Just chip-chap, chippity-chap-chap my way through all these dang walls. Oi. You still do a very unfriendly amount of damage to me whenever we fight, and I do not care for that. Speaking of, how much, how's my money? Okay, I've got 400 gold. Alright, there's another dead end. Okay, good. Fantastic. There is, in fact, a correct path to go. Okay. Apparently, you managed to dodge and... Chuck and jive my your way through my attacks. Unappreciated, sir. All right. Now, I guess I should I can point this out since we're just sort of wandering about in a cave for I don't even know how long. Uh, if yeah, uh, the lowest level I've been at and beaten this game at is 16. So get around there and you're able to beat the game. You can always go a little bit higher, you can challenge yourself and go a little lower if you feel like it. I will most certainly not tell you what to do or how to play a game. I suppose, in a way, I kind of appreciate that uh, openness. It's like, hey, just get out there in that world. F figure stuff out for yourself, Mr. Man. And I'm like, okay, fine. Eventually, ugh, you will do so. Okay, nine damage. Not as much as a fire bow would do, but still. There we go, I'm still able to hack away at him. I still beat that scorpion like it ain't no thang. Alright, let's see. Yes, yes, that's all well and good. Perhaps, did I... Was I wrong when I thought I was going around in a circle? Because isn't this the way out? No, that's a dead end. Okay. I do not like caves. I wish I could see everything. Sigh. Alright, fine. Doesn't matter. We'll eventually get our way out of here eventually. And that was that that was that was a reuse of a word. That's that's bad grammar. D minus, see me after class. Oi. Freaking Dervins with your weird little tendril things. I don't even know what you are supposed to be. You're like a cycloptic flea creature? Last I checked, fleas can't fly, so I don't know how I don't think that's how I don't think that's what you're supposed to be. Perhaps you're supposed to just be some kind of horror. I mean, you most certainly are that. Terrifying. Kira Toriyama, I can only assume you designed that. What's the deal with that, bro? My goodness. I also have to wonder how we got into the business of doing the character and monster design art for this series. Okay, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that is in fact the way we originally came. Not where we want to go, because then I'll... Because if we leave and then come back, I'll have to use my other torch. I ain't about to waste a torch like that. Let's see, I'm not entirely sure when. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm, try I'm trying to think. Like, okay, so I think Dragon Quest started in somewhere between '86 and '89. Pretty sure Dragon Ball started up somewhere roughly around that same interval. I don't know. Maybe it just wasn't that big, and he needed the money. And after that point, he just kept coming back because he felt like it. Toriyama. You, you work in mysterious ways. And I'm getting pretty tired of all these freaking ghosts. Good lord. There's a poltergust when you need one. My goodness. There is a path you're supposed to take. This isn't... This is actually not a difficult place. I don't know how I've gotten lost. But, but believe you me, I feel suitably stupid. Like a real moron. Yep, okay. Like, you can see the area you're supposed to be. A little pool of water over there. Gotta get over there. How many ghosts do I have to fight my way through before I can finally remember? I mean, I guess it's not that bad. I'm getting experience and money in the process. Alright, come on, Mr. Scorpion. You got more than that? I always thought that scorpion was, like, made out of gold, but I think it's just yellow. Because, I mean, a golden scorpion certainly isn't the type of thing you... 
w wouldn't be able to see in this universe. But I don't think you'd see it so early in the game. There is a solid gold enemy that you can eventually find. Dropping him, uh, killing him drops some mad loot. It's pretty much the most advisable way to get money in this game. Unfortunately, we're nowhere near strong enough to try and tackle that horse yet. And I think I finally managed to stumble my way down the correct path. Don't quote me on that, because it's very possible that I'm still an idiot. It's more than feasible. In fact, you should be expecting that sort of thing from me by this point. Unless it's the first time you've seen any of my videos, in which case, ho ho! Allow me to apologize, sir! Alright, yes, we're definitely in the right place. The writer place, at the very least. Yo, treasure chest, what you got? And I found a big old pile of money! Sweet! Might be able to buy some sweet armor by the end of this venture. At least the half-plate mail. I suppose I could wander around and just beat on things until I eventually have enough for the full plate. That's 3,000 gold coins, man! That's a lot of stinking money! But, uh, da, 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 we shall see. We shall see in due time. As we fight even more of these freaks. Alright, ow. Yes, you slap me with your weird little tendrils. I can only assume that's how you go about attacking. I mean, eventually, when, you know, enemy animations exist... As we go through each game, the graphics do in fact improve greatly over over the course of the series. Eventually, we start going into 3D models and the like. Then you can actually get a good feel for their attack patterns and the like. So that's all well and good. The encounter rate is getting a little bit silly. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I don't even remember- I remember going long stretches without ever finding any enemies and getting really frustrated by it. Of course, now that I'm Let's Playing it and, you know, would like to actually perhaps maybe get things done in a timely manner, they're crawling out of the woodwork. Literally, if this thing is perhaps maybe a termite? I don't know, it's some sort of bug giganticized and, I don't know, fantasized into a monstery thing. Anyway, level 8! Strength goes up, vitality, HP, MP, found some money, all's good in the world. Alright, now I am slightly more durable. Okay. Got to find ourselves a staircase. We gotta go down. We gotta go down to down to down down down. There's an item here that I want. And I'm pretty sure that's the only thing, the only reason this entire cave exists in the first place. So we're just gonna have to looky looky loo around. Hopefully I didn't somehow get turned around. I wouldn't put it past me. I better not be going the way I came or I'm gonna actually get rather upset. Okay, no. I actually am quite happy to see a dead end. It, it tells me, yeah, you're not going the wrong way. I mean, you're going the wrong way, but you're not going the opposite way. I mean, that's that's basically the long and short of it. All right, I see a pillar. Pillars usually lead to things. All right, the door is locked. And we do not have a key to open it. Luckily, we do not need one. In fact, oh, in fact, using a magic key on that door is kind of incredibly wasteful because... You can get to the other side of that door. If anything, I think it might be something of a shortcut, but a very minor shortcut, not really worth paying any mind to. So I'm not sure what the deal with that is. Yeah, come on. This is getting silly. And I know there are people. They're watching. They're going, dude, you already walked down that corridor. You already got lost here. Why are you so bad at video games? I don't know, good sir. I don't know. If I could get better, I would. I, I don't choose to be terrible at my, cho my, my chosen profession of playing games on the internet. I mean, I don't, it's not actually my profession, it's just the closest thing to a job I have. So, I mean, if I could get better, if I could quote unquote get good, mate, then I, tr trust me, I most certainly would have. Definitely by this point. I do not like to make a fool of myself, but... Doing so makes people laugh and have a good time and all that good jargon. Alright, so I came from that direction. So, okay. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to where I came. But I'm also going to head down south real quick. See if that's perhaps, maybe this was all just one huge divergent path perhaps. And not the actual path that was needed to, gone down, to be gone down. Let's see here. Can I go further, further down? Yes, there's that. No, wait, no. No. This isn't it. I don't think so, no. Yeah, this is a dead end. It's like, uh, it's like a ruse. It's here to make you think that you made progress, when in fact, 
you did nothing of the sort. But we do need to go downstairs, which means this is, I, I, okay, I'm starting to get a better, I'm starting to remember this a little bit better. Okay, let's see. Get attacked by another ranking monster! I'm mostly getting attacked just by ghosts, which I'm not sure. You, you'd think they would eventually realize that they, they don't have much of a chance against me and perhaps, I don't know, move on to greener pastures. But uh, apparently not. They Bless their hearts, they think they can take me down. All right. So yeah, there's the treasure chest. I got some mad loots from there. The thing is, I remember accidentally stumbling the correct way in the complete dark without a torch once. And in fact, missing this general area altogether. Which is just outright ridiculous, and exactly the type of thing that should be expected of me. It's like, I don't know, I just figured I'll just wander around in the dark in this cave. What could go wrong? I mean, it ultimately worked out. As I said, I found where I was supposed to go. I just kind of bumped into it. Eventually, I got, you know, killed because I couldn't find my way out after that point. But, you know, minor victories and all that good stuff. All right, so we know it's not south. We've gone that. We've gone down that route, which means there has to be a way that I didn't go, and that would be the correct path. This, I believe, would be sound logic. And if I also recall, this is the direction that I have not gone before, so we might be in a good state here. Again, don't even know if the thing in this thing is necessary to finishing the game. It's just, well, I mean, I don't know. It's something to do. Get some, fight some monsters and stuff, adventuring, questing all about this place. It's just how you do. It's a video game. Go explore. Do whatever you want. I don't gotta follow your rules. You don't know me. I mean, you probably do. If you've been watching my videos for like, you know, the five years I've been doing this. You probably got a good picture. <laughs> You've got a decent idea. There's that staircase I was looking for. My goodness. That friggin' took forever. But I actually have become strong enough to take down those things in a single hit. Given the, you know, the number generator is kind to me. It most often is not. Alright, now, actually the monsters, I believe, will get more difficult now. Just by going down one floor. There should also be a treasure chest. And one of these little... There we go. Oh, okay. Getting attacked by a Drakima. Another version of a Draki. Even more powerful than the ones we've seen before. It can heal itself. That's inconvenient. Please don't do that. Okay, heals also got the fire battles. Okay, I thought maybe you were just a healer, Draki. Nah. Nah, he's the full package. He's got offensive and defensive magics. You don't want to mess with those dudes. All right, and it's a big old pile of gold. Not turning my nose up at that. Holy crap, I've got 2,000 gold. Wait, hang on, what is, what is it? 2012, that's the year I started, let's play. It is a sign, and I found another torch. Okay, that's all well and good. Still not what I'm looking for. And I'm probably never gonna end up using it, and it's just gonna take up space in my bag, and I'm gonna have to walk over and probably sell it to some dude. Either way. All right, we've got a Skeleman. How hard do you hit, Skeleman? Relatively hard. How much damage do you take? You don't take too much, okay. Those are another creature that very possibly could, you know, entirely annihilate you if you, uh, if you don't mind your, 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 your strength and the likes. Anyway, to our immediate right is where we originally popped up when we, uh, got faked out. Let's see. Oh, God, I forgot about the drolls. I forgot about the drolls. I'm not, like, scared of them. I'm not scared of them because they're strong, although they, they can be. I'm, I'm, I get freaked out by them because did you see their face? Did you see that thing's face? What's wrong with it? It's all weird, man. It's like, I don't, it, it's like a snail that got stepped on. It's just like, man, you are in a bad way, Mr. Mr. Creature Thing. Like, my goodness, you you appear to be in constant pain even when out of combat. All right. I would very much like to not die. Oh, hey -o. is this where I'm going to find the thing I'm looking for? The strength seed. Nope, but that is good. And are you it? Nope, you're the magic acorn. All right. All right, well, uh, those are just going to be taking up space, so I might as well eat them. Here's the strength seed. And my strength increased by one. That's not much, but, I mean, it's a little bit more than it was. Use this acorn. MP by five. That's a significantly larger boost. Thank you very much. Okay. 
Still not exactly what I'm looking for, but I appreciate it all the same. That's what you get for exploring. You find, uh, you find all sorts of little goodies and whatnot. Let's see. I feel like I'm going back to where I started. Oh, nope, I most certainly am not. That's a big ol' stinking thing. And now we got a warlock. Oh boy, let's see. Uh, yeah, he's got Fireball. Okay, but he actually did significantly less damage than I expected. Whew, man. That, that, that worked out very well for me. Go me. All right, open the fang. Get myself a fighter's ring. That's what I was looking for. I don't even know if this thing does anything, actually. Anyway, I just put it on. There you go. Maybe it makes you a little bit stronger. Maybe it involuntarily activates something in the plot. I haven't the slightest. All I know is that I always go and grab it. And if I recall things correctly, no matter how much I look around, there really shouldn't be anything else around here. So now all we have to somehow, all we have to do is find a way out of this place before we die. Although here is another treasure chest and I found a large shield. Okay, well good, I'm glad I didn't, I didn't buy that then. Okay, let's see, hand axe, leather clothes, and boom, that's actually a, that's a pretty dang good, uh, yeah, that's a good upgrade, actually. Alright, oh, the troll didn't see me! Well, that's not too surprising, right? Those eye stalks don't look very, uh, good at their job, let me tell you that much. My goodness, it's like, it's like a, I don't even know, it's like you get run over by a car, but those aren't things. And a poltergeist! Oh, dang, that's like a ghost, but I guess worse in some regard, I'm not sure how. <laughs> like, I'm not sure, and I mean, in, I meant in terminology, I mean, it's a stronger monster, so it gets a different name, and it's, you know, it's a recolor and all that good jar jargon and what have you, but I mean, like, as far as the word, aren't poltergeist and ghost, don't those mean the exact same thing? Okay. The question of the day is, how do I leave? Because I don't have a lot of magic, and I'd really rather not die and lose my money. And it's like everything in this cave knows Fireball. I, I, I don't appreciate that. I would, I would really prefer if you didn't. Like, I want to leave this place, and I do not have the spell that immediately lets me leave places. And as much as it pains me to do so, it appears I'm going to have to try and maybe start... See, that's the thing. I could start running from fights. But, I don't know if that's a... Okay, I remember seeing that on our way through, so we we just got to head this way and we'll eventually get to the staircase that uh, will lead us up. Because if I try to run and fail, they're just going to get a bunch of free hits on me. And it always takes, like, you know, a good two whacks with a, with my weapon to take down a general enemy anyway. So, I mean, like, do I, do I risk taking extra damage? Or do I just fight the dang thing, you know? Oh boy, oh boy. And the fireball, always with the fireballs. Okay, you gotta believe, you gotta trust, you gotta, you gotta, you just gotta love life and hope for the best and everything will work out swell. Oh boy, please don't use another fireball if it's all the same to you. Okay, he, he did it anyway. I thought I asked rather politely, but he still did it. Good sir, I mean you no harm. I simply wish to leave your docile. I mean, granted, I want to leave now that I've ransacked it and grabbed everything worth of anything, you know, vaguely worth anything. So, I mean, maybe you're upset about that? I mean, I guess I could understand that. I mean, I would, I, I, but you're a monster and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you don't own these things. I don't know if you even have a concept of ownership. These are the questions that we must ask ourselves. Okay, we're back on the first floor of this place, where the enemies are notably not as powerful. Unless they decide to dodge my attacks and then hit me anyway. Wow. Okay, so the Durvins are still going to uh, be a little bit of a problem. Okay, oh, hey, level up, sweet. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Rose to level 9, strength increased by 4, speed by 2, vitality by 1, HP by 4, MP by 7, and learned Radiance! Mm, yeah, okay. Please tell me I can use it. Yes! Radiance! Yeah! There we go. Radiant is a spell that is so much better than a torch. 
Not only do you have to- you don't have to buy it, you just have to use two MP points, and it shows you so much more of the area. Eh. Okay, stop bumping into pillars. We're trying to leave this- this- un, this god- godforsaken land. Okay, so we just gotta go down here, walk around the flibbity doos go back to the pond, take a turn at the big oak tree, and we should be a o k o Assuming that I can still just get out of this place before everything completely goes belly up. I can't take much more hits before everything goes down, and I don't want to lose half of my absurdly large amount of money. Remember when those ghosts were attacking me and I was killing them in one hit before they got a chance to do anything? Could you maybe do that again, game? Could you be... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Please just let me leave. And there was no escape. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Ah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Why would I run? I get, I get, just, I get hit. I get hit and it hurts. And I don't care for it. And I hate these things so much. Oh no. This is bad. I should have bought an herb or something. Anything. I don't want to lose my money. I worked so hard to get it. Just let me leave. 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 Oh boy. Okay. It's a scorpion. Please let me leave. Okay. <laughs> if I had the MP for it, I would have just used a fireball, but uh, no such luck. No such luck. 